Hello everyone, it's Tina. I have some Yupo medium paper and some T-Rex inks as well as Jacquard Pinata Gold and I'm going to paint. So that color, the blue color, is Pacific Blue and the Pinata Gold and then this is the Isopropyl Alcohol that's 99%. And this is a Quo hair dryer. I'm actually going to speed up the video in a second just to not make it so long. You can add more isopropyl alcohol and do a back and forth motion um, to get some ripples. Usually I find if you tilt the paper up a little bit and blow the inks against the tilt, then you get really nice ripples. The hair dryer has some heat to it, so it does make a nice edge for ripples. I wasn't really feeling the ripples today though, so I'm going to change things up. I'm going back to my tried and true method, which is the soft edges. So this piece, I didn't really have much of a plan for it other than I was going to try the ripples. Um, other than that, I just chose a few colors and uh, that was my plan. <laughs> Alcohol inks don't go as planned, according to plan. I do find that this is my sanity right here. It's kind of my break away from the work day. I like to not have the pressure of doing what other people are needing with my daily job as a graphic designer. Um, and I do love the inspiration that I get from my clients and even for art. If I'm doing commissions, I love the color palettes that you guys come up with. Um, I just find that there's some high expectations This is my break from the pressure. I am absolutely loving the Pacific Blue from T-Rex. I was looking for something with the navy tones and it has some purple to it, but it's really nice. So here's the Amethyst from T-Rex. And I was a little bit taken back with how pink it looked to me. <laughs> so I thought, okay, yeah, I'm going to tone this down. But it is a really nice pop of color, and I'm really glad that I used it. I was being careful not to put alcohol too close to the blue. I kind of like some of those lines in there where the blue is. So I use a Q-tip right here. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the amethyst color.
if you watch to the end, you'll see it all um, blends in pretty nice together. That one is um, Tidal Teal, I believe. Yes, Tidal Teal. That's a really pretty color. Picking up some more of the dark tones of the Pacific Blue and blending it all together. Sometimes if you get little chunks of the metallics, I just use a little toothpick and just break it apart a little bit. Cleaning up some more lines. You really have to work quickly with alcohol inks, I find. Otherwise, they do their own thing. It's not always a bad thing, though. So those two colors, the um, island, or titled teal, sorry, and the amethyst, together really complemented the Pacific Blue in there, and it almost looked like I just added some more Pacific Blue. in the darker area. Just blending out some more of those lines in there. You know, sections to me, and the two, the two bottom right sections were a little too tight, so I just added some more isopropyl alcohol for a wider, wispy area. And that's it. I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. I appreciate all of your support and I hope to see you at the next video.